Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at One Four Seven. And recently, I showed you a few special diamond paintings that I'd finished. Um, of course, once they're finished, that means I need to put the diamonds away. So I have quite a few different special diamond things here um, that need to go away. I also have this storage case that I was kindly gifted by Melissa because I want to use this. When I saw this, um, my idea sprung to not necessarily the special diamonds because I, ne I don't reuse them as much. Um, they're more there in case I have anything that's short of them. Um, but I do want to try and incorporate AB diamonds into some of my paintings a little bit more. Um, the whiter ones are the easier ones for me, but I do want to have them handy. And I actually thought that these little pots would be perfect to keep my ABs separate to my specials. Now, while I don't have any ABs in here, I will be going into my specials spare storage. So I thought if I get this out while I'm in there, I can move them over and do it as like a, a twofer. Um, so before I get my spare storage box out, I do like to sort of divide up by colour. That's how I tend to store them. So they're white, they're white, they're white. So I'm just grouping all the bags and stuff that I've got. Gold and yellow go together. They're probably more, I'd class as brown. Green, and then of course we've got an iridescent one that just throws everything I've just said out the window. Um, now then some of them I have just sort of stored either in baggies or I've actually left them in their bag but then put them in a baggie to sort of stop them exploding everywhere. So that's, per in fact, I'll probably put the iridescent in with the purple. It's a bit more purpley than anything else. That's probably ready pink, blue. Um, um, as I'm working on special diamond projects, I tend to just go by colour. Um, so when I'm done with a colour, I put it into one of my baggies, no stickers, no messing, just to store it there. And then I put them back in the original packaging I had them in, um, just so that they've got a place to go until I've finished. That's more green than blue, purple. So you'll just see me opening up all of these. Some of them are my bags. Some of them are the bags that came with um, the diamonds themselves. And then I do sort of break them down once I have them in my spares. I think I have 10 colors, I think. So that's more pink, that's more red. Blue, they look purple. They're green, purple, green. A few more to go. Oh, hang on, that's one I've not done yet. I've obviously unpacked the diamond painting and not labelled it up. So we'll put that over there and deal with that later. Uh, this one, palm, yes, I completed this one. <laughs> this one's labelled up but completed. The other one, I have diamonds. See, I told you my craft room's a mess. Um, yeah. My craft room is a mess at the moment. It does need a good sort out, but I've got so many projects on the go, I've not got round to it. Um, but I've definitely done this one. I'd say they're more pink, green, silver, yellow, blue, red, pink, red, gold, orange. I do have an orange colour, yellow, silver, yellow and green. Okay, so they're them sort of split up into my categories. So now what I can do is I can get my storage box for my specials. 
So I don't have as many specials, so they're just stored in what's smaller than a photo box. I actually, it's about half the size of a regular photo box. And I actually picked this up from Michael's in New York. Um, and I just have one row down the middle and then I just have the cards that tell me the colors. So first one in this case is purple. There's no particular order to them. Um, they're not in alphabetical or anything. I just get out that color. And then within each color, I tend to go more on shading than I do on exact matches because otherwise you can have too many bags. So I have a bag with anything that is not a basic circle. They're all in there. Say, I don't reuse them very often. If it is something that you reuse often, this type of storage might be better or you might want separate bags for them all. Um, but I don't. So I will now put together anything that is, so they're the normal size, they're not they might need their own little bag because they're sort of iridescent and completely random. Apart from that, I will sort of go for the closest match. So I think that's sort of a darker purple, that's a lighter purple. And then what I do is I just mix them in with the rest. Um, this may frighten some people, um, but again, it does depend on how much you potentially use them. If I, the only time I tend to use specials is if I have a painting that is short, which is very rare, but I have had it on off the canvas items. I have occasionally been a bit short of a colour I needed um, or an accident could happen. And if that were to happen and it to be for example, one of these, a weird shape. What I'd do is I'd tip these all into a big tray and pick the one I want. So I don't need to just be able to dip in and get exactly the right one that I need. It's not that often. So I'm more than happy to have them mixed. Same with the color shading. Um, you can find, let me just grab a tray, just because some of these are still actually wrapped up in the bags that they came with and not just my grip seal bags. So then I can just tip the rest out. See in this case, there was absolutely loads left. And then I'll just tip them into that bag and they can just mix in with the rest. And if I needed one, I would just tip them all out into this tray and pick the closest match and go from there. Right, I am going to have rubbish after doing this one. So I'm just going to use my new pop-up bin. It was picked up for me by Lou from Lou's Dotty Diamonds. Thank you, Lou. Um, and use that for rubbish. The grip seal bags I'll reuse. Um, so these ones are Evermoment reusable ones. I use those when I'm kitting up um, and use the white label to write the DMC number on if I have spares. And of course, these ones are normally what's used in my spare storage. I have recently been gifted some new storage bags, some new very nice storage bags, I must say, um, by Diana. And I do have plans for those. So I have plans in the making to sort of revamp them into my main storage. Um, so I'm going to hold off using, I probably will put my specials into them, but I'm going to hold off until I've done my main project before I do. Okay, next we have pinks. Pinks I have a few more variants of. So I'll grab my pinks pile. I'm going to say that's a medium pink. These are all the different size ones. That one's more of a hot pink and that's a different size one. And that is basically how I match them up, um, is which bag it looks the closest to compared to the other diamonds that are in there. And 
they just get thrown in. I did used to keep them separate. So when I first started with my spare storage and my special diamonds, I wasn't doing many projects at all. So I would, when I finished a project, so similar to what I've done here, I would just put them straight into one of my spare storage baggies, um, one of these that I used in all of them. I would just move whatever was left into one of those and I would drop it in with the colour. I wouldn't try and match it up or anything. I would just put the spare in with that colour and it stayed in its own bag following the project I'd done. When it got to the point, I'm going to get rid of these baggies just because they're numbered ones from the original seller. I don't need those. Um, so yeah, I'd just drop them in and I'd have bags like this. But I ended up with loads of spare bags. The more projects I did, the more bags I had. So the next thing that I did was I mixed up a little bit. So I, I put into bags ones that matched. So if the diamonds matched in colour, I would put them in the same bag. But even that got too much, especially with the blues. The blues were awful for it. There is so many shades. Even if you're just dealing with a dark blue, um, there were so many that were just slightly different and it just got far too many bags again so I've whittled it down I think blue is the one with the most bags um, but I've whittled it down so that there are about four or five bags for each and that's what I use okay for red I have two I have one for different shapes and then I have one for standard um, they're actually even smaller than standard, but I'm not going there. They're going in the same bag. Because there are only so many bags of diamonds that I can handle. Um, because otherwise it just gets far too much. So I've got a, the reds. I have one bag there, one bag here. Because quite often, if it's not a shade of red, um, it, it, it's pink. It just goes straight from red to pink. Quite often the reds are that similar that they just all go in together. And I'm not even bothering that these are ever so slightly smaller than the others. Because then I'll start looking at size even more differently. Um, and I'll be investigating the millimetres for each. And again, it's just not worth it. If I need one... I'll just tip them out and go from there. Okay, did we have any black? Oh yes, we did. So black is quite simple. Um, in regards to my black, it either has a silver back or it doesn't. Now, the ones that don't have a silver back could potentially be classed as three tens because they're exactly the same as three tens. However, because they've been part of a special diamonds project, and I don't want to be pulling out all my you know, full boxes of spare diamonds each and every time. In effect, I just keep a second bag with my specials. Then we have silver, of which I have some that are sort of an off silver. So could potentially be classed as a bit more of a gunmetal grey. I have a bag for silver and I have a bag for the other sizes. So what have we got here? Other sizes, silver, silver, they're just going to go together. These are tiny, but they're all going in. Tiny little teardrop ones. I think they might have been on a clock. I think that might have been one that I did ages ago. These are ones that I kept in their original packaging. Can you not see? Look how many was left. I think I got way more than I needed in that one. And these are slightly iridescent. If 
fact, I'll put them in with the mixed ones because they'll stand out a little bit more than being in this bag because this bag is probably the fullest that I have for the silver because it is very, very popular. Um, maybe that's the colour. If I'm going to mix special diamonds in, maybe that's what I should start with. Mix those in. I'm going to put these in with the sort of gunmetal grey off colours. And that is just me thinking, which bag would I go to if I was missing one? And I'd probably go to the silver with other stuff in it rather than the basic silver. Okay, so that's those. And then we have blue. So this is probably the one I have most bags in because of the various shades. But I do also have some ABs in here. That's what I want to move into this storage. So I'm going to put that over there and deal with that in a minute. So I have some, a couple of different pearlized ones. I have my odd shapes, a couple of different pearlized. We have dark blue, sort of paler blue, a turquoise blue, a baby blue, and a sort of turquoisey slash baby blue. So that's an odd shape. That's an odd shape. Let's get rid of those first. Okay, we have a medium blue, medium, dark blue, between those two, probably that one, and then a dark blue. And that's the extent of what I'm doing with the blues. I am just going to check that I didn't transfer any over in greens that are more of this blue. No, they're definitely green. So they can deal with the greens in a moment. So that one's done. So at least I'm putting a few less bags in the blue, but that's just because of the ABs that I have. Oh, if I can get in this bag. Um, I'm going to put start putting the ABs somewhere else. Now, when it comes to white, you do sometimes get some that have got an AB coating on in the general kits. And I'll have a look at that and see whether there's any that I want to transfer over as well. Just try and squeeze the air out so it takes less space. And I've got two here. One of them's in the original packaging. So we'll use my little tray. Get them all into the tray first. They'll come out. Tip all those in. I say all these baggies, apart from the ones that came with the kit and have got random numbers on, I will be reusing and I'll tidy them up afterwards and move them over. And my battery started flashing as well. I knew this was going to be a video that took a while. I've been doing quite a few special diamond projects, so it's bound to take a while. Okay, don't need those, don't need those. In fact, let's put them back. I'll add the others in. Let me just change my battery and I'll finish up the blues. Okay, battery's changed. Let's get this done. Okay, so we've got darker blue now. Get those out. And then again, I've got some that are just still in the packaging. So sometimes it's the quickest way to do it when you're dealing with a special diamond painting. It's just not worth messing about trying to get them all out to get them all then tipped into a baggie knowing full well that I'm going to be tipping them into a different baggie when I put them away and then we've got the weird and wonderful shapes and I try to tip these straight in just because sometimes they can get stuck in the ridges a little bit different because they're not a standard size. So that's a savable bag. So we've got two bigger colours left from this batch, which is green and yellow. I don't think I, I put a brown one aside, but if I remember rightly, I actually mixed browns in with orange. I'll find out when I get there. Okay, 
won't be a tip. Sorry, that was my daughter just checking if we needed milk. I couldn't be bothered going to the fridge, so I just said, yeah. Um, okay, so now we've got yellow. I do have one AB in yellow, so I'm gonna move that over there. And then, yellows, again, is quite basic. I've got gold, yellow, pale yellow, and then the odd sizes. So I class that as a yellow, I class that as a gold. I think that may actually be more orange. That's a bigger one, that's a bigger one. That's real yellow. Oh, now that's different because that one looks more like an AB diamond, even though it's come out of a special painting. Um, it's definitely not matching anything that I've got. So I'm just gonna put that straight in with my ABs. And then I've got two more that are gold. So I don't need that one. We've not got any standard crystals in pale. I do have, end up having a lot of yellow diamonds left over as well. As you can see this bag, while it's not as full as silver, it's getting close, getting close. Okay. So let's get those tipped in there. A little bit of static on these. Let's see if I can get them to behave themselves. Come on. There we go. And we'll get those added in. Ooh. And then we've got a few different gold or variations of gold. It's another popular one I've found when it comes to special diamond paintings. They like to have that touch of gold. I think that just helps with the sparkle. And a few of these baggies that I'm sort of using and tipping in have been reused countless times for this process. Been used for special diamonds. Oh, that's a bigger one. Uh, I'll put that in with the bigger ones. I do only have one of those. Okay, so that's those two. And then we've got a few that are all different sizes. For this one, we've only got one. So my guess is the painting itself only had one and they gave us two. It's normally the way it works. That we only had two and they gave us three, but normally when I'm very low on my spares, the actual painting or image itself didn't have many at all. Let's get those in. And that's the yellow done, or yellow slash gold. You can always split those up if that's something that you, you know you like to use one more than the other. And then we've got greens. So there is a few shades of green with the being dark green and a, a limey colour green. That's my different sizes. So that one I'd say is a lime green. That's a different size, that's a different size. In fact, let's pull out the different sizes again because it's always easier. I've got less to look at. What else? Have we That's actually bigger. Okay, so that's a dark green. That's the darkest greens that I've got. That's lime green. That's a dark green. That's more of an aquary green. Dark green and dark green. So, what do we start with? Let's start with the odd shapes. So these are anything bigger than a standard diamond shape or in a different format like a teardrop or something. Some of these are just plain bigger circles and this again is where I go to look. It's all the, the random shapes. Can imagine if I actually split these up separate for these little shapes that I've got, I could I could fill tons of cases. I really could. And I just don't have the space for that many, which is why I'm thinking ABs is a nice one to keep separate and switch out in paintings, whereas with these special ones, I don't think I would. Okay, I've got one still in the packaging, so I'm just going to tip these all into the boat first. In fact, I've got two that are still in packaging. 
There's the odd rogue diamond, probably what was left in my tray as I finished it. I think this is another reason I tend to do special diamond paintings in a block. I like to do a few at a time. And it means that I can put, put them all away one at a time. Uh, sorry, all together, rather than one at a time. And that actually ends up being a lot easier. Even though it's still taking me quite a while to put this away. Pop them all in. They're all green coloured. Oh, I've got a rope on. Didn't make it to the rug, so it can go in. If it makes it to the rug, I'm not trying to find it. Frankly, it can just go in the hoover. <laughs> If it makes it to the rug, it wants of the great escape, it can have it. I've done enough picking up from the rug when I have dropped a tray with diamonds in, when I'm working on a painting, um, and I will pick those up. I'm not doing it when I drop one, or even two or three, when I'm putting them into my spares, and I hardly ever get them out of my spares. That's just one step too far for me. The, the Hoover can have it. So this craft room is an absolute mess at the moment. So it needs a very good tidy up. And that in turn will mean a very good Hoover. In fact, I had to move a load of the stuff off this desk <laughs> to film this video because I was trying to make a little bit of order in the chaos and um, it wasn't happening very well. I kept getting distracted by other things so. Okay two more to go so we've got orange that is where I've put brown so I've got one that's more brown one that's orange and one that's special so the orange sort of all go together a bit like the red and then I've got brown. I do also have two ABs um, I haven't had too many AB diamond paintings recently. So all my ABs have come from either um, a Timney Arts painting that I did for Advent Calendar 2019. Or I've had two paintings from Diamond Art Club. Um, one that my daughter did and one that I did. So they may have come from there. And I think that's it. Otherwise, they've come from the likes of that AB yellow that I've just put to one side. And they came from um, one of these special projects that I did. Can't quite remember which one. Okay, so that's those. And then we've got white. Now, I do have two ABs in white. I do also then have one that has got rounds in AB. However, these have come from special diamond paintings. And if you look at them, one of them is probably more B5200 in a pure white. And one of them is probably more 3865, which is an off white. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna move these into my storage, i.e. this baggie, because it's mixed and I'm not sitting there and I'm mixing it. Um, this bag is more pearlized. So while they have an AB coating, they have no facets. So they are smooth, a smooth dome. Um, and that's what makes them different to these. These have a facet, these don't. And that's what those two bags are. And then I have random shapes. So what did I actually have in white? So I've got that. That is actually pearlized, or what I class as pearlized. It's not, it's got an AB coating, um, but it has no facets. So that's gonna go in there. And then that one is a bigger size. So that will go in there. So for the purposes of my sort of AB storage, I'm not gonna put these in because I say it's two different ones. However, if I come across faceted ones in a special diamond painting in the future then I will put them into here according to the colour and I'll just leave the mixed ones in here 
I think that's the way I'm going to work it. It makes sense to me. I do not have the time or the inclination at the moment to fish out between white and off-white. Mm -hmm. If I needed one for a diamond painting, it would be quite easy to spot. To actually sort them all out, I think I'd give myself a headache. Um, and say I don't really have the time or the inclination at the moment to do that. So I'm not gonna. Okay. If I can get that to go back in. There we go. So that is all my specials put away. Um, I do have some little pots in here. These have also got rhinestones, but these were from when I was doing more scrapbooking. Um, hence the little pots, single colours. It's just, I've never needed to empty the pot, so I've left them like that. Okay, so I have a load of baggies to sort. As I say, I will sort those after. But I do want to put these in little pots. Now, I'm wondering whether to maybe sort of do a stack per colour or, or maybe per shape. So those are squares and these are all rounds. So maybe I do rounds on one side and squares on another. They do also, some of them do have codes on them as well. Now these are from, I say they're from a couple of different sellers. One of them is Timney Arts um, and one of them is Diamond Art Club. Oh, these stickers all peel off. Okay, let me put the top on before I even think about sticking a label on. Will the label fit? It will. Oh, that one will. The rest won't. They're thicker. Uh, no, I'm not going to bother with labels. I'm just going to go by eye. So let's go for the next round one. Keep out my little pieces of paper that make my baggies stiffer. I might have to put these in here first. These have got a bit of static going on. So I think I just need to get them out of the bag and deal with it. And then pop them in. Gives me a little bit more control, even though they are dancing a little bit. Doesn't help that it's going plastic, 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 but there we go. See, that's one that jumped already. Okay, next pot. See if these will tip in. And I know I have some ABs in the in a few paintings that I've sort of either got to do or I'm doing. So I have some ABs in the Minions painting that I'm currently doing from Diamond Art Club. I have some yellow and some blue. And then I also have um, one from Dreamers Designs that has ABs in. I can't remember off the top of my head what colours ABs it has in those, but I know it has a few. Okay, and most of these are interchangeable. Um, the only pot that I can't change and switch with another tower is the bottom one. Um, but all the others are basically like this. So they've got a screw cap on the bottom and then they'll take a screw cap on the top. So, what I'm going to do while they're all round is I am just going to put the blue ones in a different one because I've already got two blues here. I know I have more blue in Minions, which may or may not match. Okay, we've got static in these as well. Um, I don't know whether it's exactly the same blue or not. I'll figure that out when it's done. But blue is a, a quite a popular colour in the sort of special diamond, as we know by the amount I have in my specials. 
and there's quite a few shading variants of blue. So I think I'm just going to make my life easier and start a second tower for blue. <coughs> and the, then as well, if the yellow is different, it can actually go in that top one from the Minions because the Dreamer Designs painting that I have is actually a square. So it will go on the other side anyway. And I can always chop and change them about. I don't have AB diamond paintings that often. And I don't quite think I'm at the stage yet of buying AB separate, but we'll see. If I start using ABs a lot more because I'm using this storage, then maybe I'll want to buy some. Time will tell. Okay, so let's put this white in. See if we can get them in without messing with static. Oh, bonus. And then we'll put in some yellow. So they do have numbers. I have got the reference on this video if I do decide to go back and label them. If you do a lot of paintings from the likes of Diamond Art Club or Dreamers Designs that do a lot of AB, then you may want to label them. But I like, actually quite like seeing the pretty colours. Um, and I don't mind just, you know, pairing up the ABs by sight. Oh, that's making a mess. Um, I don't mind pairing up the ABs by sight as and when. Because there's not as many variants as there is DMC. It, it's not going to cause anywhere near as many problems for me. Okay, so I've started. I don't have a lot, but I have three lots of ABs in squares and I have six lots in rounds. So I've definitely got some work to do, um, but at the moment I think they're a nice amount um, and I just need to remember if I have a picture that would look extra nice with some ABs to maybe try and remember to switch some of these out and put them to good use. But that's that done. Um, all my specials have been put away. I'm going to go do the very, well, slightly tedious job of sorting these baggies out and popping them away. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.